New from Hasegawa. Nissan Silvia S110 early version HT 2000 ZSE X for the 1979 model year. 124 scale curb side kit. And it is today's What's in the Box. Getting started with the body, and you can see it is a multi piece body molded in white. Take a look at parts trees B and F, and they are body parts tree. Start over here on B, got the front fascia piece. And the rear panel piece. Then we have the hood. Here on F, we have the grill. Getting started with parts tree G, and it is the chassis and fuel tank parts tree. So mostly underside details are going to be separate. Very nice. like to see that. Here we have the fuel tank. Looks like a cross member. Maybe. Part Street X is up next and it is mostly suspension parts. We'll start up here on the top. We have the cowl, tie rod, brakes, two choices of pedals, one for standard and one for automatic, the rear axle. Down here we have the underside engine transmission, drive shaft detail, side trim pieces, wipers, side view mirrors, sway bar, uh, struts, our springs, shocks, Headlight buckets, part of the headlight assembly, I should say. Front suspension subframe. Here we have the front and rear bumpers, the outside headlights, trim pieces. Parts trees SD and Z are up next. There are some suspension parts and some uh, trim pieces trim molding pieces. We'll start here with the suspension pieces. So you have two front strut spindle uh, options. One is for normal ride height. One is for a lowered ride height. You have a gear shift uh, for manual and uh, automatic. We're right here. These pieces are for the rear. And these again will decide you want to either go lower ride height or standard ride height. So standard ride height, lowered Right height. We're gonna, on this side, we have the side molding trim pieces. Part S J is up next, and it is the exhaust pipe. Now we're taking a look at the blank sidewall, no name brand roundy rounds. And he started with parts tree L, and it is one of the interior parts trees, molded in a lovely shade of tan. Start with the interior tub, which you can see has been stripped for the rally version that is coming later. Over here, I believe those are uh, the rear deck shelf speakers, I believe. Here you have the interior door panels. They are multi-piece door panels. And the dash. Moving on to parts tree Q, and it is the rear seat. Now 
Now we're taking a look at parts trees, V, R, U, and S, A, which are mostly interior parts of trees. We'll start with parts tree V, which has the front seat, which is two pieces, well, technically three. You have the headrest, the back, and so technically a three piece. Part Street R has the center console, steering column, and review mirror and license plate frames. Part Street U has a little uh, front splash pan, uh, interior door panel pieces, the armrest, uh, speaker grill, and another very armrest piece, or door panel piece. And then SA will be the steering wheel. Take a look now at parts tree SQ, which is the chrome parts tree. They started, these pieces will not be used in this version. This is for the uh, RS, I believe. The tail light buckets, headlight buckets. We have the side view mirror faces, uh, exhaust tip. Take a look now at ST and SU, which are the clear parts trees. Start right here in the middle, we have the front and rear window. Here we have the side windows. And up here on SU, we have tail light lenses, some other, uh, corner indicators, markers. These over here won't be used. Other indicator lenses. Now here we have the headlight lenses. Take a look at parts trees WA, which are going to be the wheels. You can see they are two piece wheels. And take a look at the last few items to look at with the uh, window mask and decal sheet. First, the window mask sheet. You get masks for the front, rear, and side windows. And the decal sheet, which is pretty full. You have body marking decals. Instrument gauges, dash decals, door panel decals for the switches, uh, badging, scripting, and other various decals, wheel decals, and a metal transfer sheet. So you have a rearview mirror, a turbo badging, and a lot of all these others are going to be the backing for the badging and scripting on the body. Now we're going to take a look at the instruction book. And yes, if you want to get yourself some Nissan Color Match paint, Jameson Scale Finishes can get some mixed up for you, or has already some mixed up. So that my friends are going to do it for this look at the Nissan Silvia S110 early version HT 2000 ZSEX for the 1979 model yurt kit from Hasegawa Hobby Kits. On that note, thank you for watching.